Hey everyone, I'm Trevor Stussman with Throws University, and today we're gonna to talk about how to run a high school discus practice for beginners. The primary goal I try and do when, whenever having high schoolers throw is get them throwing. Get them in the circle, get them throwing, get them spinning, and get them just taking as many throws as possible. So the main focus for today is to teach beginners how to spin right away, how to get them doing the full movement right away. We're gonna go over some drills, some movements they can do in between throws, and a simple foundation for the spin. Uh, so right off the bat, we're gonna, I got them taking standing throws right away. The throwers who haven't thrown yet, I had to do a little bit of flicking with the discus and a little bit of the bowling drill, but then I'm gonna get them in the circle right away to start feeling out the standing throw. When you kind of wind the disc, you can just start, like start kind of get your fingers in place and even face the sector, and then just wind back and go right into it. Okay. To kind of make it like more of a dynamic start. Every time someone goes out, someone else steps in. As you're walking out to retrieve your disc, watch back at the circle to see if someone's throwing, keep an eye out. But then let's keep just cycling people through the circle. Yeah, yep. Yep, just front, back, throw. Yep, straight out. <laughs> so here, here's what I want you to do. Take, take the disc and, and off to the side, just do some real light releases and try and just get it to spin. Get the discus to spin. Yeah, just like that. Wind back and then just unwind out. Yep. The, the movement was good though. So the same thing, I want you to go off to the side and do a couple re just real easy releases. You don't even have to wind. You can just, just try and get the discus to, to spin off your finger, off the front of your finger. All right, that's not bad. Still, still, see if you can keep that right foot on the ground and bring your thumb down as you release. You're releasing a little kind of up and down. All I want you to do, so if you get your foot, your feet in the right place, yep. And then you can bring the discus up here. Yep. Yep. And then, then just wind back and release. You're gonna have your hand on top of the disc. So think that that centripetal force. So when you're, I don't know if you took physics, but yeah, it's gonna stay in your hand as you're moving. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. So I'm gonna try and get them into full throws as fast as possible. But I think once they can get a decent release out, even if they can't get a perfect release, I'd still rather them go to the full throws just to get the, the feeling of the movement. But I would say probably maybe, you know, five to 10 standing throws before going to fulls. So when you're doing the spin, and some of you saw this in shot yesterday, but you're gonna start directly facing the back of the circle so you can stagger between this back little, this notch in the back of the circle. And it's gonna be the same one as the standing throw. So you're gonna come here, wind back, and then you're gonna go your throw. Now the key with discus is you need to keep your, the disc high and you need to keep it pinched back. So a lot of times you tend to drop the disc and have the, have the disc come in front of you. You need to pinch it back and keep it high the whole way through the mo movement. But other than that, it's all the throw comes down to is your right foot moving around the left foot into the middle of the circle. And then it's just the left foot coming around the right foot and now you're in your standing throw position, all right? So it's just right around the left, left around the right, and then a standing throw. Those who are comfortable spinning, I want you to keep throwing. Everyone else, I want you to do drills in the grass for right now, just working on the movement, working on the footwork, all right? And then I'll kind of I'll, I'll kind of coach you through some of the some changes if you need them. Why don't you all face me this way? And then just so we're all kind of oriented this, the, the same way. <clears throat> so just think your right foot sweeping around the left foot. Everyone's right-handed here, right? Okay. 
Yeah, so your right foot sweeping around the left and then setting down. And one thing I want you to think about is when you're starting, you're facing back. Now, when you step into the middle, you're gonna face a sector. And then when your left steps to the front, you're gonna be facing back again. So it's that, it's you're gonna be facing back, then front, then back each step. And just do it, just do like, do it real slow and just kind of do each step like one at a time. So take your first step into the middle and face the front. And then your next step and face the back. And then you're gonna throw, then you'll be in the, the stand throw position. And then one thing you can do with the disc, just grab it for this. And that way you can, you can just hold it with your hand high and with your hand above the disc, yeah. And then try and, try and do the whole spin keeping your shoulder pinched back and keeping the disc high. Let's take it a step further and instead of stepping through the throw, just get a little hop in the middle. So just a little hop, both feet will be off the ground for a little bit and then your left will land to the front. So think you're hopping from your left foot to your right foot. Yeah, and then the challenge here is to remember where your body should be facing. So out of the back to start, you're facing back. When you jump in the middle, you're facing front. When the left foot lands down, you're facing back. So that's where it really starts getting challenging. But let's jump in the circle and just try it out. No better way to just see how you feel without trying it. Right foot first, keep that left still. Yep, left stays down and the right comes around. Yeah, just like that, good. Yep. All right, I'm dead. See if you can get your left foot to come around a little, little more at the front, like rotate around, get down a little quicker. First, if there's something major going wrong, like maybe they're dropping the disc, maybe they're releasing wrong, I'll, I'll fix that, but probably the most prominent errors right out of the right out of the back is the right foot being really tight. So they'll come around and the right foot will be really tight here. And usually I'll just say, get the right foot wider, sweep the right leg and get it out wide. And then probably after that, the, the left foot getting down to the front fast is almost across all throwers is, is one of the biggest pieces of, of the throw that, that takes away distance. See if you can just wind back high and level and then keep your shoulders level the whole way through the throw. See if you can then like rotate your upper body around a little more at the finish. Uh, now, in between each throw, I want you guys to grab the med ball and do side med ball throws. So you're gonna come, come back with the med ball and throw it out to your partner, all right? So let's do, in between each throw, see if you can take five throws on each side. So do the right side, then the left side to your partner. But then keep, keep an eye out for when you're up next in the circle. So if you're up next, just drop the med ball and come over and throw more yet. Oh, that's, that's not bad. So a lot of people wonder whether you should reverse or non-reverse to start out. I think it's definitely best to do non-reverses when you're first learning to throw. For one reason, it simplifies everything. It makes it, the spin 100% more simple. And also it teaches you how to use the upper body at the finish of the throw. One of the most difficult parts of the throw is, is learning how to keep your upper body back and rotate it through the finish. And the non-reverse teaches that really well.
There you gotta stay back. All right, so if you or your throwers have problems in the throw that you don't know how to fix, check out our book, Cues and Corrections. It has a ton of different problems in the throw. It has cues to fix them, what's going wrong, how to fix it, and it'll break down everything you need to know to get back on the right track. If you wanna learn more about throwing or throws-based training, click the card here. Other than that, see you later, guys.